This is from Elenco. This is a Snap Circuit 21 Project Circuit Beginner Kit. It is a very simple design, but man, you can do so much with this. I'm really excited to show you inside this one. It's a very simple and easy kit. Unfortunately, they don't include batteries, but I guess that one, it keeps the cost down. And two, you can decide if you want to use different kinds of batteries. What it has is this frame. And that's the neat, unique part about this is this frame can help you put together your circuit, even if you have no experience. This is an update that they've done. They've actually encased the batteries. So now that we have that, let's let's go through and do the first circuit together. It takes electronics and it breaks them down to a pictographic diagram based approach, which for a beginning person who's never done electronics before, this is going to be great because my son, he can actually do Legos incredibly well. So all you got to do when you want to start this is you literally place and snap down the circuit. So in this case, this is snap circuits. So we're gonna put the battery down here and that's part of that name, snap circuits. It's gonna snap to this grid. Now they're numbered and lettered. So it's saying we wanna use switch number one. That's this switch right here. Now step one is also gonna use one of these three position connectors. And that's just again to complete your circuit. So I'm gonna follow their instructions. Step one is the battery in this. Uh, step two is the light up motor. Now this is cool because it has a positive indicated side here. That's right here. And it wants us to put that up to the positive side. And then we have this inline switch, which I'm gonna put here. And in three, two, one, we're gonna test if it posts. We're gonna turn it on and look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at that, we built our first snap circuit. That is awesome, and it's a controlled light. Now I can turn it on and off with this switch. The next page on this, I'm gonna bring it up so you guys can see it. By just changing a little bit of the circuit and the instructions, you can see how you can change this up. So I'm gonna take the, the motor, I'm gonna flip it around the other way, and now, no light, but this is blowing a nice, cool breeze on me. <laughs> so now it just becomes a fan, and that's what they're showing you. It's talking about polarity and then LED lights and motors and all that, this skips all over the complexities of that. This is just telling you that if you put the motor in this way, you're gonna get the lights and the fan is gonna blow downwards as you can see. And project number two says if you flip it around the other way, you're gonna get a fan and you can blow things around. So that's kind of cool. That's the difference on those two. Okay, third project is kind of neat. We're gonna put the motor away and we're gonna grab out, same circuit, we're gonna grab out the lamp. So very simply, we're just gonna put it in place and we're gonna turn the switch and look at that. So we got a light, so that's L4. So we've basically made three different mini circuits here. You have a both light and motors and LEDs. So it's gonna get you all the way to where you can start to integrate all of these features. Additionally, if you've got the little LEDs, which I'm gonna use next here, this is a, a two direction bicolor LED here. So you've got that little red LED, it doesn't show very well. Well, they include this little egg, so you can see it turn on and off. So this kind of a little lens. So that's another of the included parts in it. If you put this one in backwards, and again, it simplifies. You don't have to have a resistor in line. They've made it all really easy. You really can't blow it up, but there you go. So now I have a little yellow light in here. So you've got a bi-directional, bi-color light there. That is from Snap Circuits. If the other one was the primer or the just starting out, this Snap Circuits is the 300 circuit variety. You can make just about anything with this. You can make a radio, uh, you can make buzzers, you can make motion detectors, you can do all sorts of craziness. This has a slider, so a sliding potentiometer essentially, so you're gonna be able to go through and do a lot more. This has a ton more parts, but the concept remains the same, right? So throughout all of this, you're gonna have battery connectors here. Now what's funny about this is there are three volt batteries, so you've got two sets of double A's, that's three volts, six volts if you combine them. It's gonna have this propeller fan because they actually have a circuit in here. You can actually expand the kit. So if you have the beginner kit, these things do line up. So it's got a linear motor, it looks like. This is one that I always thought was really fun and we'll just build it out of the circuits. This is a push button switch. So I'm gonna bring that over here, put that there. And then I'm gonna use one of the three links. So this one has a ton of different size links now. The old one only had the triple link, right? Now, as I put this together, I can quickly test it by just touching the switch. And when I do that, you'll see that this little item moves here, right? So it's spinning 
this little fan around, right? If I change the polarity by switching the motor around, that's one way. If I flip this motor around, if I switch that motor around, go like that, put this on here, I'm gonna hit the button, it went up to the ceiling. It is literally on the ceiling. So it flew that little piece out there. You can see that fly up and it only does it when you let go. So it's kind of cool. So the tension keeps it on, but that's just one of the cool advanced circuits that you can start to get now in the newer snap circuit. So this one has that push button actuator we talked about. There's buzzers, there's light sensors. So now you're starting to get in the concept of circuits that have a little bit more going on. You're gonna have more power to work with here. So you can actually make that motor go a little better. So this is the project view here, very large manual. You've got projects and you've got experiments. So experiments, one to 101 in this side. And again, that pictographic project, Space War Music Combo, Quiet Zone Game, that's kind of cool. Flashing laser light with sound, Space War Flicker, Spinning Rings. So it has a light ring capability that you can do. So again, all sorts of really cool stuff in the experiment side. Project side is gonna get a little bit more complicated. This is where you can do an amplifier. Now we're talking about transistors and amplifying transistors. Musical motion detector, a doorbell. And that again is from Snap Circuits. This is their 300 project set.